got beat by a by a big small guy. Okay. All right, Lisa, I just got here, so I asked somebody what they saw, and they said uh, that Lisa got punched out by some big guy and a fellow named Jamal, who is a local down here. And who's, who's, tried who's Lisa? Lisa's a girl right there. Is she a local? Yeah, she's a local. She only has one leg, too. Oh, Lisa, Okay, thanks. Yeah. Your name? My name Gary Gallery. Stop leaving her alone, and then another brother, which was her like, semi boyfriend, tried to protect her. And he came over here and he busted her head right there on the goddamn with the blood in right there, right there. Your name, sir, James. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, some word. First, the guy was standing around here in the pagoda for a minute, mimicking shooting. You just go pow pow. Some people riding through here. Then he walked around a while. Uh, Lisa over here. Then she sits sir, over sir, there. First of all, no, 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 sir, you're, you're spitting while you're talking. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so then they went over here. And the gentleman we were talking about now was sitting at that part of the wall. And I don't know what transpired then. I don't know what he said to her or whatever. But I did see him. He just got up. Bam, bam. And she hit the ground. Jamal, the guy you have in the car, he was over here on the other side of the wall. When he found out. They had a fight over there. For a while they fought there and then he went over there and fought. So Jamal went back over there to check on her so to see how she was. But so she was bleeding. He picked her up off the ground. A couple other people helped her off the ground. And then the guy walked away. Walking down. In fact, he was dancing away. Doing a little gyration. He walked away. Black guy, about 300, 200, 268. Big guy. Kind of chunky guy. Balding with dreadlocks around his clown. Uh, with a torn black hoodie on. And gorgeous green eyes and a torn Yeah, yeah. And uh, he had like uh, baggy pants, all like kind of big. And he has a suitcase. 
suitcase with wheels, and you wheel it down the road. And you drag the suitcase with the hammer. Uh, uh, I had a rope or something, yeah. yeah with the so he went back way down the road. And that's the guy who thought, why did he have much? I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, sir, sir. Now, what I remember, I've seen two below the place. I've been around here for two or three days. I've seen her at least two times. And then she went down on the ground. And then she hit the ground right there. Where all the Jamal was on the other side of the wall by that time. And then he come out and he said, what? And then he challenged the guy over there. They fought over there. And these people were still on the fight. But then he challenged them over here. And then they crossed it right in front of them. No, no, no. I like it. Jamal couldn't do nothing with him. He kicked him all a couple. Jamal kicked him a couple. Oh, I'm afraid it was Jamal. Kicked him a chest. I have a. No, I don't have a picture. I have a card, my bank card, those cards. My library card. I lost my ID. Okay, now Jamal came to the girl's res Lisa's rescue. Jamal's getting taken away because there's other witnesses that say that he was involved, but he was trying to break up the fight. Apparently, I, I don't know, I wasn't here, but that's, I gleaned that from all the officers that I talked to and all the witnesses that I talked to. And even Lisa right now is probably going after that car to save Jamal from being taken away. And Sergeant Brown said, no, he's going to spend at least one night in jail to sort things out. I got you. He'll probably stand in front of the car just to... Yeah. 